All right. Let's. Whoa, loud. Let's take a look at this. I love Nick so, so, so much. He's so hot. He's <laughs> so much better. This is the only thing when I was watching it before where she. <laughs> I'm slightly freaked out at this point. This is almost like as if she was pulling down her cheek skin to look. Giving like a freaky uh, grimace. This watch out for that. There's a lot of crazy intersection through here. If you're going a bit far. Dare I say of whoa, creepy, two faced from the thing. But anyway, <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> Fell in there. bit fast, just a bit fast through there, but hold on. In your email, you are saying that you fix the timing, you think for most of the problem spots? Yeah, I would think so. There's some areas here and there a bit fast, but I understand that you want to go for the big parts here. I still have some work to do on IK feet. Let's take that to the side for now. And wobbly knees. Yeah, there's some, yep, yeah, through there, there, that stuff there. Yeah, especially when you have knee stuff and uh, IK, you know, like you said, the ankles kind of locked there. It's definitely better though. It's good stuff there. Um, but before that, I just want to make sure all the major body mechanics and timing looks good. Yes, uh, I don't want to have to animate all the small things all over again. Absolutely agree. So let's see. You have very specific notes here. Um, Frame 45 to 65, two spline when she comes up. 45, so from here to here. No, then I need sound, but just in case. 45. I don't think so. What I would work on is you got your linear keys, she kind of pops out with those arms. You can anticipate that move. You have a movement in there, but um, it could bring in those fingers, for instance. So two or three frames before that, fingers start moving into a new pose for that. Because I mean, you're pretty quickly into the straight here, but you could start a bit sooner. But I know that is a detail thing that you haven't addressed yet. I'm just going to mention it now, just quick. Okay, the mechanics are right goes back she can pull back then she pushes herself up you might argue that you might want to delay this move up here by two three frames so that this hand can be below because right now she's kind of getting up which i guess you could hold on let me act anyway this is just a split second for me i paused <laughs> the review Got on the ground. I mean, the thing that strikes me here, watch out for little uh, hiccups there. When you go back, I mean, you can lift this here, but then I started putting pressure on here to stabilize this and let my root go up. Or you wait and have this arm go back, then push up and stabilize. Um, so it's either or. It feels a bit magic. I mean, what you could do is do this, but then I would have that wrist oriented a bit more with that forearm, maybe a, a tensor finger pose and, and really lock this down so you can feel that there's more pressure here. That could be something. But to answer your question, I don't feel like it's spliny. So watch out visually, there's a bit of a pin here where that next section there. See that everything kind of pivots off of that part. So you can lower the neck a bit more so that then those necklines here, this and this would be here and here. Or you raise it a bit more, whatever you want to do, but just a little bit of a pivot off of here. I think that should work fine. It's pretty fast. I don't think you need more drag in the head through here. You get a nice swing through there as she's pushing. I think that's totally fine. I 
I think it should work. I'm just kind of looking at the overall timing. And again, it's in, in rough form, I think it's it's fine. I would just look at, like I said, like the finger animation, uh, anticipating a little bit. You can offset these guys so it's not so twins. When the root goes up, the head goes sooner, but there's an ever so slight feel of this goes up and this goes down, happening at the same time. So it's mainly, mainly offsets. I think otherwise, otherwise, I, my main reaction was not that it was spliny. It just has just enough snappiness without being too crazy. I still believe the weight. I mean, it's definitely fast, but I think if you if you sell the weight lean either on this or this arm, we're going to buy just a bit more. So you might have to just delay how this goes up, which means that instead of hitting the max here, it's going to happen maybe throughout here. It might be slight overlap between this is settling and then this moves over there. Um, I've also been struggling through the entire frame. 90 to 150 area. What is this? So once we get to here, through here, the creepy face from here. This feels spliny. From here on, this look over, this. And then coming back feels a bit spliny, mostly even in timing. I think that's usually what I'm reacting to. Wah, wah. There's no, she gets up and maybe you might hold this long, but she can't. She doesn't want to look away. Then quickly looks over there and then quickly. I like that you're anticipating with her eyes. It's just a bit too soon where we get kind of creepy exorcist eyes. You see, you want to see a bit more the pupils. But I like that she wants to come back right away, but then you could make that snappier. So she's looking and then here, here, and immediately, immediately back to the screen. But you're starting off here, let's see. Maybe out of, um, in terms of repetitiveness. The thing is, I like that she does this. I like that it's, it's different than that. I like the changes in poses, but then you might argue there's one and then there's two. And she, start, she starts to feel like a gorilla. I think, personally, I'll probably keep it here. There's a bigger push for her to change the pose here. Like, she has to move over with all of this. More strength here. And then for contrast, it's not the same again. And because the adjustment is smaller, you can get into not flat wrist with fingers out and the thumb. You can do kind of a, a wrist and then the thumb, uh, and then your fingers spread out. Again, I can't draw. I'm trying to mentally imagine something better. <laughs> I really need to practice drawing again. It's absolutely useless. Uh, but something like that, if that makes sense. Other than that, let's watch this again. You might not have to go as low with the head. I think that's something that you have before as well. I'm not sure she needs to go all the way down. I think you might be able to get away with something between here and here. So we still have a bit more of her body versus here where it's just kind of a massive head and then stuff coming out, just silhouette-wise. Because the thing is, it gets a bit fast. It's just a lot of mass. This plus the big head moving up and down is a bit fast, dare I say. And I think at this point, I just like, again, it's very subjective, but I like the idea that she's looking and she just can't keep her eyes off of the screen. So then to break contact and go this low, I think it would be funnier to keep that head up. She's always trying to look at it. But speaking of eyes, just be careful how far you go with the pupils. You can totally cheat and bring the pupils a bit over there. I know she won't be really looking at her at all, but when we start losing pupils, it's a bit tricky. But I know this is a detail thing and you're not looking at details just yet. Uh, try to change the timing and all that and make it smoother, not really 100% sold on it. This is that region though. I like this a lot, that you're going from slow to fast. But you might do... Again, this is detail work. I know, I know what you're saying. Uh, besides the sections. I would start like that with like a big slap. And then I guess you can keep this. Watch out when you get pressed in there. Here's there. But then once she gets into the fast moves, 
then I will be a bit more curled, almost down with, I get a, I say a picking, but you know, something where it's broad slaps down to very precise finger taps where like that section is hitting here. It feels like this is all the same. It's just accelerated. I like the <coughs> the texture and the timing. I like that there is contrast in that. But I think you can go broader with big slaps of watch, 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 watch. And then when she gets a bit more uh, picky about it, that the fingers will be... That hand might go a bit over there and it's more like... You know, not like fingertip tapping. It's a bit more precise. Yeah, and I think... And then probably what's going to help is offsetting. I know this detail work. I'm just saying offsetting the fingers so you get to this as, as, as late as you can, so you don't have that thumbs up pose, which might make it feel also a bit awkward. So just kind of she's adjusting, and just at the end getting into that fist change. And you can still ever so slightly relax. I know it's very short, but from here to here so she's not constantly in that um, in that fist pose but that's super picky I don't think that would matter at this point I just be careful more in terms of breakage of the wrist where the wrist kind of points this way and then this goes over this way and then down to here where it's pointing down but then this goes over this way it just feels like a couple of broken wrists there but I do like the nervousness in her fidgeting around No, it's tricky. You kind of see if you would keep that head longer on the TV. She gets her hands up here. I'm not sure if it's, you know, how post changes through there. I would rotate the wrist over so the hand is a bit flatter. So you have a nicer view on the thumb. And then probably once you get to here, that the fingers will be a bit lower and then slide into this so it doesn't feel like a snap constraint but I'm just imagining if this was all there do I still like this try to change the timing and all that to make it smoother I mean I'm looking at your notes and I would say just I would definitely fix the head so it's not so even in timing and that might just be enough because you're gonna have to adjust the timing of when her hands get to the face and everything. And that, I think that might just be enough to give it some life. I have, I'm afraid that by trying to make it all smoother, especially through here, it has made it all so even. Because right now it just feels like her hands come up mechanically and it doesn't feel like it's character motivated, which I know is one of those BS things to say and very easy to say and hard to fix because you're the one animating. But if I listen to her, bring up the sound just a bit. You know, he's so hot. There's something where I feel like you want to, like I buy this. It just feels like she gets into this pose and into all this almost too soon. It's as if she's holding and then she just can't contain herself anymore. Was, yeah, he's so hot. It's almost as if you want to delay that pretty by a lot of frames. Again, it's very subjective, just thinking out loud here, where she does all this, she, she doesn't want to keep her eyes off the TV, and then she just can't hold anymore, because he's so hot. And by saying that, right when she goes, he, right around that point, that's when she brings her arms up, and it's more like, oh, just that, that, that burst. And that's why she brings her hands up, because she feels like she's going, going to explode, her head is going to explode, and that's why she puts her hands there. I'm overthinking this, of course. Uh, puts her hands there to avoid that her head, exp her head explodes. I know this is all silly, but that's kind of how I would rationalize the timing of when this happens. Whereas now it feels like someone going through a checklist of, okay, got to put down the hands, now I've got to bring them up and then say this line. If that makes sense. <laughs> it still cracks me up though. Mechanics-wise, be careful. If you bring her down this low, it'd be interesting what you could do with 
either bringing out that leg. It's almost like if you bring her down, it's going to squash the whole thing and you want to bring out those legs out and not keep them completely, you know, completely still. And I know you're roughing stuff out on her, yet yeah, you're more into her. But something to think about in the future that when you do this, kind of a compression that brings out the legs out this way, if that makes sense. Uh, hold on. Uh, was trying not to lower the head that much, but it seems like I lost a lot of weight in it. Honestly, uh, it might have looked better in the previous version. Do I have the previous version? All right. That was, again, a split second for you, but I paused it. I went back to your previous version, and I definitely preferred this one. We, I mean, we both probably looking at it for too long and losing some objectivity, but looking at your previous version, this feels a lot tighter. It is pretty low still. I would still go higher, like I said before, on this part. And the timing is just a bit even through here. And something like here. On, so he goes, she goes up and then on. That would be faster, a bit more explosive through here. And I think all that is going to take away from the splininess. Because I think you're reacting to a lot of spliny stuff. Like that's nice. <laughs> the ending is great. So let me see at the beginning here. I'm just going to look at her in general. Her as in the screen left one. Maybe this is not mechanics thing, but maybe something that I could do. If you don't have her go as low and you might feel that, well, what else she's going to do? It feels a bit too simple. There's something that I like a lot about this that you could technically translate into the whole body acting where she's just kind of hoppy and skippy, meaning... And it's simple, it's, it's just probably through here into here where imagine there's some bobbing up and down in the chest and head. And again, I know I'm... With you, it always feels like I'm adding notes to make things sometimes longer but also more complicated. But I know you're really good. I'm just throwing stuff out there. You can absolutely disagree and say, no, I'm not going to do that. Again, just thinking out loud, but it could be neat to show some, you know, when people are like a double take on the walk or something, or like a, like a skip hop, there's something about having like a constant rhythmic up and down because she's so excited. Which I think could be neat because it starts off here. She's so excited to get up. And then the excitement, you know, gets in here like, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then because she lets go, all that, that jitteriness and that excitement is now in her. So then she does all that bounciness and it's almost like a slow build up into here where she goes, oh, I can't take this anymore. And then she's holding herself steady. And then, then you go down into rub my face, bam, for the end, right? So you have your excitement. Then this is your contrast where she's kind of, <coughs> sorry grabbing her and then bam big explosion bomb i think that would be really cool but i know this is you and you have to animate this as always this is very easy for me to say but i think that's about it on her <laughs> you might argue that through here at this point you know, you have this here that will bring up her head first, really lead with the head so that you have, you know, like her head will be back here, mouth here, nose here. And that gives you more of a pullback with her chest so that you have, and maybe her root is a bit more forward. So you have a stronger C curve going back. So it's not so straight. So you really have, you know, like feels like that neck is a pretty 90 degree or even lower so that you can have something where this is here, uh, mouth is here, and she's really going all the way back and pulling her. And as you get into this, during this hold, I wonder, see if you have a little bit of a th uh, hip thrust going up, if through all of this up until here she lets go, if you want to keep going up this way, so that on that moving hold, the root goes up, 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 so, so she goes, up, 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 and drop, you know, so you go whole drop as a, as a visual in there. 
and then watch out for this. This bigger things. If you do such a big roll with her chest and head, that it would be a bit more in the butt, and then because of that, the hips and everything will take the the legs. Maybe that leg can come out a bit. It's not just that flat foot here. We might have something where we can see, you know, the foot might end up being here, so we can see the backside of the foot, which gives us a little bit of the view of one leg, um, and then the other leg can be coming out a bit more. It's a horrible drawing, I don't know what I'm drawing here, but so that it doesn't feel so dislocated, where it's just from the hips on, this is a lot of movement, but then the bottom part is not really reacting to that roll as much, especially this one. Which you might call, yes, I know, I know, I'm looking at the big parts, but that to me seems like a bigger part you want to fix if we're getting into details. And the girl on the right, Obviously, the magazine, you mentioned that. Mm, hold on. I think, because we want to look at her, I'd be careful with all of this movement through here. Look at her head and everything. I would just really keep this into her, her hand. I, just, I would just read. I would even do this. I would just have your magazine here and just eye darts and head going a bit left and right for the reading part or, you know, photos or whatever. But that way we don't have anything conflicting through here. This goes up, but this moves. So where am I supposed to look? I know her, her move is bigger, but I think we can just make this super clear and not do anything on her. Then you have this moving again, go down when this goes down. So it's, just, it's just a bit uh, competing there. That, so then she taps her arm. There's some movement there. I think that should be okay. I like how subtle it is and how she goes, hmm, what the hell is this? You could potentially bring that chest over. So she's leaning a bit more over and looking so that so that the body has a bit of a going away from this. It's like this is invading mass here. Like what's going on? She's slightly leaning away from it, but it, that's up to you. Because then I'm just thinking that this move is very simple. One axis, just the head up. And if you just do your your eye and head over with a little bit of root over this way, then when she looks up, you can go from this back to the straight. Very subtle, but still, you have different pose changes and posture changes between each moment there. Same thing on this, when she turns, this feels like a rotation where at this point you can really start, at this point we really lean her over more. So she's looking at her. And that way she, she can then come back into this straight. Like she's, she's trying to get back to her default. The stiff straight versus she's so excited and getting onto all, into all kinds of C curves. So for me personally, that would be a cool contrast. And every now and then when she's taken out of her concentration of, I want to read this. This might be some physics magazine or something. Um, then, then she leans over it's always kind of interrupted, and, and when she goes back, that's when you have her straight. <laughs> this, I would just do... This feels a bit gentle, how that arm goes over. <clears throat> so I don't know if you want to just have that arm kind of bent like this. Like, what's going on? It's kind of being pulled along. And then, then a bit later, get onto her uh, thigh and maybe tap it. It's almost like a wrestling, like tap out, like, come on, what's going on? Or start to push against it. So it's just a bit more than just this passive move. This, I hope, will get fixed through, you know, a bit more of a dynamic hand pose. I'm just concerned about this very straight. Besides that kind of broken wrist look. I'm just concerned that this is a bit too simple. Just because... She gets pulled up, and then it feels, especially through here, it's just so straight. It feels like a very weird, deliberate move and gives it that very harsh, not harsh, but just kind of weirdly blocky shape, especially again with that wrist break here. I do like that it goes into up and no moving hold, and then for that drop here. Like, I like that. I'm just not quite sure if this feels... This feels forced. And not something where... If she pulls her, like I said, if it, this will go faster. No, not faster. She has her, her stronger pull there in her, in her pose. Yeah, I think, no, I think the time, sorry, the timing is fine. But what if, because she's being pulled, you 
prolong the drag and then that arm goes up and then you'll eliminate the amount of frames where we see a straight arm. Maybe that's going to help. Because that arm up feels a bit slow and because of that slowness I feel like I'm really paying attention to that straight arm. But dare I say you could experiment with she goes where that arm actually goes up into something here where she's trying to pull her arm away so that we have this your knee might be too far out by the way you might have to bring in your knee slightly more in but that arm is here so it's almost like the arm pointing towards that face to so kind of look at her but you would have to have her arm you know like something like this so that this forearm is not aligned with this upper arm that could be something too i know we're going to take this away but I mean, I don't know if you want to do this for like a five minute quick block to see what it feels like. This could be something where she's pull and then with that arm coming up into this pose, maybe the eye gets taken up into, I want to look here. I'm just also concerned that even though I liked it, it's just because I was, I'm also used to it, but I'm just concerned that everybody's going to look at this. Like, is she's what is she going to do with this? Punch her or, or we might... And I think about it, we might have to bring it up so that she's holding or just slightly having that hand there. Or even if it's floating and she has that with a, you know, somewhat tense hand pose. I think that could almost in a way mimic the offset glass as everything is kind of tense and broken. Um, so I don't know. Think about that. Totally, totally up to you. I'm not sure what your thoughts are on this. Um, I think this might be worth like a five minute tweak of just because it seems like an IK arm. Just take your IK and then bring it up here uh, and just see what it looks like. All right. I'm going to end it there. To me, those are the big notes. I say this and I'm looking at her as she drops here. Boom. I might say drop and stay on the ground here. It feels like you're lifting her back a bit too soon. I would keep that all down. And I would hold her on the ground maybe 15 frames longer. It feels like she goes boom and up. Versus after all of this, it's kind of a boom. Oh, what? And she could be coming up much later so that you have drop her. So it's one, two, roll over three, her four. Boom, boom, boom. Which you kind of have. Except that she goes up and then she rolls. And I wonder. I wonder if you can delay that. Again, this is not that it seems wrong. My, the thing that I was reading is that she just. It's like a too fast of a recovery. She drops down and immediately goes back into that acting choice where it feels like an actor rushing through things versus not a natural. Boom! Holy crap, what was that? Huh? Where you give her time to breathe and think just a little bit and then get up. And I think this could also work because you would have drop, drop, eyes are here. She rolls over, eyes go over there. Now we're already here and we're losing her eyes. We don't look at her anymore anyway. Then she gets up and the eyes and the audience's eye goes to that and then she ends the scene. I think that could be something. Start with her and with her. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. It is almost half an hour. So let me know. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Thanks for waiting. Uh, I think my voice is back. No coughs pretty much. So uh, starting now again, much more regular feedback schedule. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.